All right, guys, welcome back to episode eight of the WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2007 GM mode. We are in week six, I believe. The schedule we're taking the Raw is taking place in Alabama this weekend, so we're sweet home Alabama. That's where we're going, guys, on Monday nights. We've been kicking SmackDowns, are so. I don't think it really matters where we go. I expect us to uh, get the better of SmackDown. Everything's looking good. Current champions are Cena. Um, Cena. The, the World Tag Champs haven't defended their belts yet, so we need to try and make that uh, need to make that happen sooner rather than later. Intercontinental Champions Rob Van Dam. Women's Champion is Trish. Uh, we've got no trades. The rivalry's only got one going at the moment, which is Edge and Liam. No, I don't want to set too many up because we've still got how long away is Fengen? Nine weeks. I guess we can set the Shawn Michaels Cena one up now, I guess. I guess. Let's, let's do that. Uh, what would it be, though? Patriotism, Kidnapping, Battle of the Titans, David First Goliath, Freak Show, Diva Jealousy, Number One Contender. Uh, I don't know. What is it here? What is it? I don't know. It's probably going to be Hungry Challenger, I guess. That would be it. So it's going to be John Cena. Taking on Shawn Michaels. Oh, we can't do it yet because we've got Shawn Michaels set to... All right, okay. I've got Shawn Michaels set to turn dirty on this week's Raw, so I, I guess we can't... We'll worry about creating rivalries next week, but for now, we'll just keep this one going, the Edge and uh, Lita Matt Hardy cheating girlfriend one. Now, let's have a look at the free agency because we could sign a few people here. We did let Candice Michelle go. I'll maybe bring her in, but I'm thinking about getting Gillian Hall, maybe, perhaps, instead of Candice Michelle... Uh, but then again, Johnny Johnny Nitro is a bit of a, a 62 popularity. Like he could definitely come in and and do a bit of business. But you know what? I think we'll I think we'll go with I think we'll go with Candice Michelle five weeks and Jillian Hall. This should really help the women's division. So I think that's all we can get. Yeah. So we could, that's only two people we could sign. Um, but maybe in the future, Johnny Nitro, because 62 popularity is pretty good to leave on the table. Because if you look go to our our superstars, you can see that we have quite a few people that are rated below 62. Look at that. Masters, Kali, Holly, Matt Hardy, Candice Michelle, and Gillian Hall are all rated less than than what um, Johnny Nitro is. So perhaps Johnny Nitro would be a pretty good signing that we will look into. Anyway, we've got the match set up, but since we did sign those two new women, why not put them on heat? So here we go. It's going to be Jillian Hall taking on uh, Candice Michelle in a heat match. Uh, I'm sure things will definitely get heated in that. But anyway, with that said, let's go. Let's get stuck into tonight's show. We've got Kane taking on Hardcore Holly. Mickey James versus Trish in a backlash rematch. Who knows? If, if Mickey James picks up a win, she might get an all title shot. That could be the case. Uh, then we've got the Shawn Michaels dirty turn. But Ric Flair versus Randy Orton, former Evolution members combining to batter each other probably. Big Show, Matt Hardy, Kurt Angle, Edge with Lita. Advertising promo, we've got John Cena and Michaels teaming up to take on Carlito and Masters. And in the main event, we've got Rob Van Dam versus JBL. You know what? I don't know what match we're going to play. So I'm kind of tempted to do something I haven't done before and play the heat match because... I haven't done the Heat Arena. I don't even know what the Heat Arena looks like. So actually what we're going to do, we're actually going to do something weird for a change. And we're going to play the Heat match with the two new signings. Candice Michelle versus Jillian Hall. Uh, we went Candice before on Raw. So we'll go Jillian Hall here and see and see what we can do. But there you go. Jillian Hall. Jesus Christ. Jillian Hall versus Candice Michelle on Heat. God damn it. Heat of all shows. Imagine choosing a heat match over the main event. Fucking IC title's been defended in the main event. We're playing Jillian Hall versus Candice Michelle on... I don't know. Is it, how is it? Is it Sunday Night Heat? Even though it's the one before Raw? I don't get it. I do not get it. And is that the Heat Arena? Kind of looks a bit like Raw. I can't tell. I'm mesmerised by Candice Michelle, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to not get distracted here. I'm trying to look... Oh, no, it is Heat. So here, they actually do include the uh, the Heat Arena in the game, which is pretty cool. This might be the only match we ever have on Heat. So uh, why not go with it? And let's get the entrance skipped, because I believe we can probably show about 30 seconds. 
Uh, we'll, we'll show Candice Michelle sexily getting into the ring. There you go, boom. That's what everybody wanted to see. And now we can uh, get underway with this match. Oh wait, we need Jillian Hall to come out first. Kind of a match with just Candice Michelle. Well, I, would, I wouldn't mind going one-on-one -on -one with Candice Michelle, but I guess that's not going to happen. Only, only in your fucking dreams. And here comes Jillian Hall without that big thing on her face, so I don't know why. I mean, I think she would have been a lot better had she had that thing on her face, but I guess not. I guess I didn't want to go with that. Looking back at these games, like, the rosters are incredibly thin. Like, I mean, I'm not all for women's wrestling. I'm not a big fan of it, but back in the day, it was actually good. When it was actually back in the day, like, back here when it was actually better, the, the roster is pretty... It is pretty slim, like, I mean, I can't remember who was in the company back, back in 2006, but, I mean, surely there was, you know, some decent people you could have had. I mean, Victoria? Why is Victoria not in this? I mean, that's borderline criminal, I think. Was she actually in any of the SmackDown vs Raw games? I don't think she was. Which I, which I find, you know, unreal. I mean, I get Candice Michelle was in Playboy, so I can under totally understand why they've included her, but, I mean, to have Jillian Hall in the game over Victoria, I mean, that just makes no sense. I might actually be a video. I might, actually, I might make a separate video on that, because that boggles my fucking mind. But anyway, here we go. Enough, enough of that shit. Let's get this match underway. Jillian Hall versus Candice Michelle. Sunday Night Heat, big main event. Probably the only two times, uh, the only time these two will, will touch a main event. Unless they fuck fence, then they might get you know all the main events. They want main event WrestleMania, but until then, it's it's Sunday night heat, baby. And here we go. Candice versus Jillian Hall, referee there. Who is that? Chad Patton, Mike Kyoda. He's getting in the way. Jillian Hall, then. Oh my God, <laughs> we're uh, we're fighting through the referee. The referee's glitching. Oh, and Jillian Hall then goes for a, an arm wrench and what? Oh my god, Jillian Hall working the arm like Ronda fucking Rousey, man. What the hell is this? And we're going to ignore, ignore the rope break because we're a fucking dirty heel. We're a dirty little bitch, so we'll just keep ignoring it and there you go, a four count. And um, fucking Candice hits Jillian in the lady nuts, whatever she has down there. I've never seen it. You can only dream of things like that, but I'm, I'm going to assume it's probably something that m most guys don't have. And can Jillian escape? I mean, we're yellow body, right? Red, red, ugh, can't even speak. Yellow body already, man. That's that's pish. I mean, Jillian Hall's stats must be fucking dog shit. Uh, Jillian Hall, oh my god, look at these maneuvers. Jesus Christ, we could be looking at a future world champion here. Go for the cover. Two. Oh my god, almost got three. How is that even possible there? Counting her up. Oh, again, Candice Michelle counters. Working on the arm. <laughs> Candice here just battering us. Come on, Jelly, and do something. I mean, in real life, I think Jillian Hall was um, JBL's valet, so perhaps we could have that again. I don't know. Does JBL need help? I mean, if JBL can win the Intercontinental Championship tonight, then he probably doesn't need anyone's help. And again, Candice counters. What's she going for here? Working the arm. And she's going for a submission, so interesting here. Candice Michelle, I wouldn't really call her a submission artist or specialist or anything like that, but... That's what she's going for. That's what she. That's how she's um, going to try and control this match. On oh, a low blow for Jillian Hall. Madness. Here we go. Spinning back elbow. What the fuck, Jillian Hall? Trying to win this. Then a low blow from Candice. Don't these two know that they're not again? Oh my god! She tries to slap the referee, and the referee knows sold it. The referee's pointing at me. He's if I'm in the fault. Blame what? What's the referee doing here? Another low blow. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, low blow say. Jelly and then trying to get Candice up, rake of the eyes. Do not lose your finisher, do not Oh no, another low blow, god damn it. What are these two doing? Into the ropes we go. Is Candice gonna follow up with something? She's just gonna stand there. She's just gonna stand there, take it. And she goes behind. Counters. Gets us in a headlock. Jillian. 
manages to get out of it, going for a knee breaker. Weird maneuver. And this time Candice Michelle again with another counter. And, this, and she nails a DDT for good measure, so... Can Candice... No, she can't do anything, Jillian Hall with another low blow. My god. What's Jillian's finisher? How do we nail the finisher? I don't know. I don't know how we do our finisher. Candice and Irish whips it into the corner. We can try and get a bit of a breather here, but we need to figure out how you do Jillian Hall's finisher or else we're, we're in trouble. Trying to regain stamina. It's not really working at the moment. We've got another finish. Oh yes, it's on the ground. So here it is. Jillian Hall setting up for the big elbow drop. It's not quite the people's elbow. Dwayne The Rock Johnson ain't gonna fucking steal that one. Jillian Hall goes for the cover. Is she gonna win? Is she gonna win? She is. So Jillian Hall on her debut picks up the win. So Jillian Hall, maybe she should have been picked in the draft. Who knows? Maybe she should have been picked first. Who's my first pick? Who is it? Shawn Michaels? Fuck, I made a mistake. I should have picked Jillian Hall because with an elbow drop like that, nobody's kicking out. If she nails that and Cena, we've got a new WWE Champion. Jillian Hall celebrates on Sunday Night Heat. Right, what a win for her. I'm not going to take it away from her. Good, fought, good hard fought match there against Candice Michelle. It is what it is. You know, there he is. JBL, the man we were just talking about a moment ago. He's looking on, he's thinking, hmm, look, that's Jillian Hall. I mean, that's just fate, isn't it? Even on the loading screen, she's with him, so. We might actually look at pairing those two up now that they're on the same shows. Anyway, here we go, Monday Night Raw. It's Cade picks up a win over Hardcore Holly. I don't think Holly and Flair are ever going to get those tag title shots, to be honest. I think we're going to give Flair, maybe stick Flair with Big Show or something, and Big Show and Flair can have a shot against the World Tag Team Champions. We've got Mickey James versus Trish Strat. Trish Strat wins. There's no real reason then to go down that route again because it looks like Trish has got the better of Mickey James. She has her number. Ric Flair defeats Randy Orton. Ric Flair's actually doing all right here. Ric Flair's on a bit of a roll. Big Show and Matt Hardy. Uh, Matt Hardy complaining he can't get a win, and that's another week for a win, because Kurt Angle picks up the victory. Now we've got John Cena and Shawn Michaels team up to take on Carlito and Chris Masters, and, the, and John Cena gets the win. Big John there doesn't even need Shawn Michaels' help. He's done enough to defeat Carlito and Chris Masters. And now in the main event, JBL. John Bradshaw Layfield getting his title shot. The title shot that he's complained about, moaned about, cried about. He wanted it. Now he's getting it. And he's not been successful. JBL, go and cry some more, you little fucking bitch. Because RVD has won and he will remain the Intercontinental Championship. Mr. RVD, Mr. Monday Nights, Mr. Intercontinental Champion. So that, let's see how this show did. I think it was alright, to be fair. Or I think we might have, I think we might have won this fan change. Oh no, SmackDown, okay, I'm talking shit. Twenty thousand here, that's not bad. Twenty thousand, you cannot complain with that. Um Boogeyman turned up on Raw. And sprinted and during a match. Well, fuck what match was that? <laughs> I, I didn't know nothing about that. Jillian Hall free agent has been signed. Okay, whoop they do, we know about that. She picked up a massive win on Heat guys, that's it's fucking late news. We already know that. Let's have a quick look then at the uh, SmackDown reports. Uh, Finlay then picked up a win over Super Crazy. Tori Wilson beat Molina. Big six-man tag match. Taker getting the win. Triple H and Batista beating Maggie and Chavo. And then Rey Mysterio defeated Mick Foley in a submission match with the world title on the line. That was a two-and-a-half star rated show. As for us, we also had a two-and-a-half rated show. Ah, heat match did one-and-a-half stars. Not bad. Uh, match two, Mickey James versus Trish. Ric Flair, Orton, that match, and uh, John Cena, Michaels versus Carlito Masters was all three stars. And then the main event, RVD versus JBL, actually was the best rated match of the night with RVD retaining the title in a three and a half star match. So good there from RVD. Fan support, SmackDown, bringing it back a little bit. We're still a, a long way ahead, but keep in mind we have had a pay per view, a raw exclusive pay per view, and SmackDown haven't. So Obviously, when SmackDown have their pay-per-view, they will bounce back. You would surely expect them to do that. But, I think even even though we're going into the pay-per-view, I think we've got a very handsome lead, and I do not expect SmackDown to, you know, pull that much back when we do get to the pay-per-view. JR's reports, has he got anything to say? Not really, JR. Go, and, go sit down in the commentary desk. We don't need you. 
And here we go. Let's check the new superstar rankings. Rey Mysterio remains at the top. Let's see here. Has he not been at the top for like... How do you go back and look at previous weeks? So, um, no, Triple H, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has never been lower than second in the power rankings, which is pretty impressive. He's, he's doing a good job. Shawn Michaels up to third. John Cena drops down to fourth. That's a bit strange. John Cena teamed up with Michaels. John Cena got the win, but somehow Michaels leapfrogs him. I mean, what? Who made that decision? RVD up to number seven. RVD really is making a case here to try and perhaps become a double champion. It's a WWE Championship match in his future. Who knows? Uh, Edge and Lita again on the up, on the rise into 11th place. Randy Orton remains in 13th. Unlucky for him. Carlito drops down to 14th. A big drop from Carlito there. Five places in the rankings. Not good. Not cool. If you're Carlito, Caribbean cool there. Ric Flair up to a, a massive jump there. Seven places. That is big. Seven places. Mike, Mike Skills fat at one star? Ric Flair's got one star Mike who, who Who wrote that? Who fucking cheated Ric Flair here? That's a joke. That's an absolute joke, man. Uh, JBL, he has dropped down, I'm assuming, one place. Booker T's dropped down. Trish is up again. Kane is up by two. Kennedy is down a few. Tori Wilson is a new entry this week. And Mickey James down to 25. And in real danger of dropping out of the ranks. Let's see what's happening on Raw. Carly, uh, Chris Masters got his down to 14th now. So he could be dropping out of contention as a contender for a title on Raw. But uh, yeah, at the moment, not much has changed. And Shawn Michaels then leads the way in that. Let's have a quick look at the roster popularity. Edge now is still content, but JBL was unsatisfied. Now he's happy, even though he lost, he's just happy to get a shot. Ric Flair, though. Ric Flair wants a title shot, and you know what, guys? I think next week he's going to get one. The Nature Boy! Woo! Ric Flair, I think, will get a title shot next week. Don't know what title. Maybe a shot against RVD. You know what? Why not? Or maybe it'll be a tag team title shot, but who could we put as his partner, let's see here, maybe RVD, maybe we should put RVD and Ric Flair together, but if we don't do RVD, who could we do, let's see here, who's a who's a good fit, could be our, could be Ric Flair and Big Show, Um, that's probably it here, I wanted to do Ric Flair and Holly, but Holly's just too far down the rankings, that, that can't really happen at the moment, and Matt Hardy's dog shit, so there you go, I mean, not a lot then, it probably will be Ric Flair and maybe Big Show, so that could be a tag team title match next week. What's Big Show want? Ah, oh, he just wants help because he's been losing every week. Don't cry, Big Show. I know, I know you love to cry, but we'll sort you. Rivalries, cheating girlfriends. It's two thumbs up. We're on the road to success here. Two thumbs up with that. And we will be creating more rivalries next week. But here, we'll do that. Shawn Michaels, uh, John Cena one right now. Hungry Challenger. Now that we've turned, Shawn Michaels a heel. The, the clean side on Raw is looking pretty uh, thin. Fuck me, I think we'll need to try and... I think we'll need to try and turn someone uh, face because at the moment, the, the heels are stacked. The rivalry length, eight weeks. It will take place in Fengeance. There you go. Cena, HBK. No happy. Well, there'll be titles on the line. There's no titles on the line here. Maybe we'll stick Lita on the line. Who knows? But I think we're looking towards a ladder match, TLC match between Edge and Matt Hardy at Fengeance. But hopefully we can drag the storyline out before it going stale and keep things fresh and I think that's going to do it then guys I think that's us covered everything this episode nothing else really for me to report on we will oh my god we've got a shitload of messages here that I didn't even read fuck right I'll need, I'll need to read these put the title on the line yes GR title matches higher ratings I totally get that superstar specialties what's this right we'll maybe look to do that next time guys well oh next week we're in Oklahoma City it's JR's hometown. Maybe JR should get a title shot. JR versus John Cena main event. Who is going to win it, guys? That, maybe that's what we'll book next week. But anyway, that's good there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. If you have any comments or opinions or questions or anything like that, make sure you leave them down below in the comments section. And until next time, guys, until I am back in Oklahoma City kicking ass with Jim Ross. That is it from Southern Scotland. Until next time, peace.